Um, first, I want to recognize my co-author here is uh, Sarah Craig. Uh, she's done a majority, or actually I should say all of the actual sample uh, collection, all of the sequencing, the extraction um, for approximately 500 samples that came from mouth swabs and stool samples from mother-child uh, pairs. Uh, and I also want to uh, recognize uh, the Galaxy team as, as my other co-authors. Um, if you're not familiar with what metagenomics is, it's the study of genetic material recovered directly from environmental samples. Um, and it's important here that we're not actually doing isolation or cultivation um, because both those, the, the isolation and the cultivation processes, you'll lose organisms. Um, there's two different types of metagenomics uh, branches. You can do a 16S uh, gene targeted approach um, or you can do a whole genome shotgun approach. Um, with the 16 edge approach, um, you actually uh, target a, a variable region within the, the 16S uh, uh, gene. Um, when we go to do it inside of Galaxy, um, one of the biggest problems uh, is actually getting these large number of data sets into Galaxy. Um, we can use an FTP process where we actually uh, import, uh, we use an FTP file server, send the files to Galaxy, then we can go ahead and we can import them into Galaxy. Um, and then we can go ahead and, and create a data set collection from these data sets inside of Galaxy. Um, what's really nice about a data set collection uh, is it allows you to treat um, a whole selection of data inside of Galaxy as a single unit. Um, and we support uh, pairs of lists, such as uh, a, a set of uh, forward and reverse reads for, for many samples or just a list of data sets. Um, and, and like I said, it's very nice to be able to use these inside of Galaxy as a single unit. Um, basic basic uh, steps inside of this are no different than any other uh, general uh, high throughput sequencing inside of Galaxy. Um, now, one of the problems that we have here is, of course, we want to check our sequences along the way for the quality reports. Um, but looking at uh, 500 different FASTQC reports, their HTML, you're not really going to do this. Um, so we actually have a sub-workflow or, or a, 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 a nested workflow that we can use in order to uh, create a general uh, report inside a Galaxy where across the top here we have our sample names along the left-hand side we have our tests and then whether or not they pass or fail. Um, you want to assign reads inside of Galaxy um, and one, one way you can do this is using Kraken. Um, and then uh, the same sort of thing here where we have um, our abundance counts across the top or across for our samples. Um, doing it in, uh, normalization is very important when you're working uh, with multiple genome samples. Rarefaction is one sort of way to do this. We have uh, on the, the right hand side, we have an example of a bad, good, and, and okay. Um, here's actually where we run it on inside of Galaxy using about 500 samples. We can see that there's actually a couple of samples here that, that are bad, and so we'd want to actually go ahead and remove those. Uh, but looking at that graph doesn't really help us, so using the vegan tool suite we can get our slopes, and then we can actually programmatically decide how to deal with these. Um, Galaxy is able to determine alpha diversity, it's able to determine beta diversity. Um, one of the big problems dealing with uh, metagenomics samples is actually how do you handle the metadata inside of Galaxy. Um, a lot of times these tools only accept tabular files. There's also a nice biome format that's now available. Um, and we can actually have converters inside of Galaxy to convert between these two formats. Uh, in this case, this is a tabular format where we're actually uh, adding the metadata directly on top of our abundance calls. Uh, we can feed that into LeftC, create these graphs where we can actually see uh, differentiation between those uh, results. Um, if you were here last year at BOSC, uh, we saw a really nice visualization uh, uh, software called Finch from the, the keynote speaker, Holly Bick. Uh, we've gone ahead and we've added this to, to Galaxy as an external display application. It did require a couple of uh, downstream fixes and enhancements, and hopefully they'll get rolled into the main uh, branch soon. Um, what we've done recently to, to help with Galaxy is we've actually decreased the amount of operations, um, the amount of time required to view these large histories, these large ha shared histories. There's a multiple history view. Um, that you can now view inside of Galaxy, so you can view large histories and all of them at the same time, drag and drop to copy between them. Uh, John Chilton has written a nice set of data set collection operations that allow you to work on these, these, uh, these collections. 
Um, one of the big problems with Galaxy in the past has been the naming of data sets. So you have X, Y, Z on data set one, two, three, four. Um, we can now solve that by using data set element identifier. Um, going to the future, what we need to work on is actually viewing very, very large, uh, large histories. Um, we also have additional packages such as Mother available, Chime, Frogs, and so forth. Um, what I hope you've taken home is that you can do metagenomics uh, with Galaxy, and you can do large-scale multi-sample analysis. 500 samples using the UI, that's no problem. 5,000 samples right now, um, you need to use the API, but we're working very hard, hard on getting the client side to work on that. I want to thank um, everyone here, all the tool developers, the Galaxy community, and the contributors, um, and watch out for drop gators. <laughs>